Now to campaign 2020. Tonight we are just 19 days away from Election Day on November 3rd. And listen to this, a record 16 million Americans have already cast their ballots. Absentee and early voting is a contentious issue. More than 300 elected related lawsuits in at least 40 states have already been filed this year. News 4's Ray Preston is in St. Charles County for us tonight, breaking down what happens to your ballot before election night. In some states, if there is an irregularity on the ballot, say a signature doesn't look quite right, well, election officials will actually reach out to the voter to help resolve the issue. About 16 million Americans have already voted in this year's presidential election. Sharon Berry voted absentee today. Because of the pandemic, we want to make sure on election day we're not standing in long lines at the school. Like millions of others, she wants to make sure her vote is counted. Since she's showing up in person, there shouldn't be any difficulties. In both Missouri and Illinois, election judges handling ballots that are dropped off or mailed in will compare signatures on the early ballots with what is on file. In the last presidential election, missing or mismatched signatures doomed more than 150,000 ballots. Every absentee ballot has to have the voter's signature. You know, that's the most common reason for a, a ballot to be rejected. Um, the second thing is if it needs a notary, we gotta make sure that it has that notary. Second most common reason why an absentee ballot is rejected. In nearly 20 states, voters are notified if their ballot is rejected. They're given an opportunity to fix it in a process known as ballot curing. Illinois does it, Missouri does not. It's time consuming and labor intensive. But before a ballot is rejected, a bipartisan team will look it over and come to an agreement that it doesn't qualify. Right now, there are social media postings that say if an election judge marks on a ballot, it disqualifies the ballot. Oh, which is simply not true. It's not how the machines work. And quite honestly, we have to have the judge initials on, on every ballot. Barr says the lesson for voters is to make sure you're getting your information from trustworthy sources. In St. Charles County, Ray Preston News 4.